OK, so we're going to look at an application to the Arrhenius equation. And the Arrhenius equation relates the rate constant of a reaction to the temperature that the reaction is carried out at. And uh, usually, as we increase the temperature of a reaction, the rate constant increases. It has two parameters, the pre-exponential or Arrhenius factor, A, and the activation energy, Ea, a very important parameter in physical chemistry. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy a reaction needs to proceed. So if we measure the rate constant K at two temperatures, T1 and T2, we can evaluate both of these unknowns, A and Ea. So we have two unknowns, A, the pre-exponential factor, and Ea, the activation energy, and we have two known values, the rate constant at one temperature and a rate constant at a second temperature. Before we go on and use simultaneous equations, though, we just need to linearize the Arrhenius equation, and this just makes the calculations easier. And by linearizing, I mean that here we have the uh, Arrhenius equation, k is equal to a times this exponential. This isn't in a linear form, it doesn't follow the form y is equal to mx plus c. So to linearize it, we can get the natural log of both sides. And I choose the natural log because the natural log, or log to the base e of e is 1. So we can see here, using the rule of logs, log of x multiplied by y is equal to log x plus log y. When I apply that to this product, I'm left with the natural log of k is equal to the natural log of a minus ea over rt. And this is a linear form of the Arrhenius equation. OK, so let's look at an example. Here we have some rate constants k at uh, two different temperatures. And we want to calculate the pre-exponential factor and the activation energy. So I'm writing out my linearized form of the Arrhenius equation. I'm writing it out twice, though. Once for k1 at, t, at temperature t1, and secondly for k2 at temperature t2. You can see straight away here, if I subtract the second equation from the first, my natural log a values will cancel out. And I'll be left with natural log k1 minus natural log k2 is equal to minus ea over r times the reciprocal of the temperature difference. All I have to do now is plug in my values. So that's what I've done here. I'm putting in my values across the board. R is equal to 8.314. That's the gas constant. So when I do a bit of rearranging, I get an activation energy of 56.3 kilojoules per mole. I can now plug in that 56.3 kilojoules per mole into one of my equations. So here I put it into the first Using my temperature T1 and my rate constant K1, I get a value of A is equal to 1.24 by 10 to the power of 12 per second. The units of the pre-exponential factor are always the same as the units of the rate constant, so it depends on whether it's a first-order reaction, as it is in this case, or another order, second order, for example.